what is up everyone Northside here and i was provided with the new artifact that actually comes from the new battle pass uh, first contact and it is in the premium reward it is called alaric's artillery beacon uh, account it is it is not bind on equip so that's a bug it has been reported you cannot sell him so keep that in mind and uh, in this video I will showcase you how this artifact works and also I put to a test uh, also from the companion choice pack Saxion one where we got uh, Icos Hedrod Ironstone Kuotoa but uh, two of the companions were buffed Rust Monster and Swashbuckler uh, Rust Monster by 30, around 30% and Swashbuckler around 20% now I got some interesting results with the Swashbuckler and I, com I compare that with the actual green scale bowman and I will show you the parses so let's start first with the artifact so here it is on the mythic level it is 1500 item level and you can see it has 1688 eye accuracy and same combat advantage and combined rating now use is deal 33072 damage to enemies in the targeted area added effect is stun duration is four seconds all versus players added effect is quite low five percent increased damage taken duration 10 seconds it would be really really good if this added effect was 10 percent increased damage taken so i will show you how this actually work and i will just spawn a bunch of illusions here we go strong illusions and i'm going to just spawn as many as i can and i will show you how this actually works so you can see when i pop the artifact from the sky boom 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 and they're almost all gone so uh, that's how it actually works nothing really special to it the artifact itself i don't want to linger too much on it has this increased accuracy and common advantage however i feel they could add uh, another rating or if you wish now we're going to move to the actual swashbuckler first i will show you the parts i will show you what it does or she does she does actually provide combat advantage so uh, it's kind of if you can't afford black death scorpion uh, this uh, ba basically shield charge grants combat advantage on the target so let me show you how that actually works uh, on the boss illusion and i will show you how much damage actually it did so here we go uh, I'm just gonna attack and you can see that I have combat advantage you can see this blue area around me now it's gone so she's gonna do it again here we go so you can use this actually as if you can't afford the black death scorpion and here is the artifact on a single target so not 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 that good really um, obviously uh, there are much better artifacts so keep that in mind i don't think it's worth it uh, so buyer beware now let me show you how much swashbuckler did uh, in terms of damage on my parse so here is swashbuckler's parse 3.3 over three minutes uh, 40 million and damage the dps per second is quite high 68,000, as you can see here which is in my opinion quite high for the swashbuckler and the damage is actually not that bad slash did 9 million and shield charge 5.4 million we had uh, 122 flashes here uh, with the maximum hit of 104,000 and 22 hits of shield charge that actually was 336 that maximum hit minimum hit was 115,000 we had full flank here almost full flank yeah it was a full flank and high crit and this damage uh, and dps per second is not that bad at all keep in mind that my item level is really high henceforth the damage and encounter dps but mostly damage i don't know if this is 20 percent increase but i do know that uh, this is a very very solid damage and i will show you now uh, the rust monster and also i will show you the green scale bowman uh, in comparison to this so that is about the swashbuckler uh, like i said 
quite quite good because shield charge grants combat advantage on the target and devastating impact is actually as you saw providing combat advantage uh, yes it does it, it is not like black death scorpion constantly however it is few seconds in between and it can be useful so now we're going to switch to the actual rust monster uh, the rust monster is not not that good as the actual swashbuckler so the rust monster uh, chomp he has corrosive touch and uh, the rusting caused by corrosive touch becomes rampant running to the target's armor causing him to take additional damage over time so that's hyper corrosion so let me show you really quick how that actually works so i'm just going to hit and provide him with a combat advantage and here we go i'm just going to zoom a little bit here there we go you can see the ticks are not actually that high uh the hits 170,000, 360,000. uh we have around uh 5.7 thousand non-crit uh corrosive touch uh, let me show you how much damage he actually did uh on my parse and we will compare that to actual green scale bowman uh which also goes for blaspheme assassin because they're pretty much on the same par so here is the rust monster also 3, 3 minutes 36 seconds uh, we have close damage to almost 14 000 13 357 so a little less damage but uh dps per second is 61,000, which is basically not that bad however he does have this corrosive touch that proc 223 times or hit and bite 44 times uh, this companion was buffed around 30 percent however is doing similar damage but much much slower in terms of dps per second so let's compare now this to the green scale bowman actually and here we are the green scale bowman is um, in my opinion the absolute beast so you can see he is positioning himself so you have to actually provide him with the combat advantage now look at those hits he is constantly constantly ticking and critting and then hitting with the actual uh, main attacks so he has really really high uh, dps per second and uh, the damage is solid however i will show you that the damage is quite close to the swashbuckler which is quite surprising let me, let me show you the actual log combat tracker log from the bowman and we will wrap up the video um, and i will give my some conclusion so here is the green scale bowman 14 million 629 thousand damage but his dps per second is 71 thousand uh, which is really really high because we have this green scale poison uh savage shot and poison arrow really really doing and uh synergizing 5.7 million 4.4 million 4.4 million we got maximum hit around 300 thousand minimum hit 19 thousand and you can see how much procs we have from the green scale poison 151 hits also uh this was with a full flank you can see the crit and also we got the savage shot 44 times uh netting us with 4.4 million damage and we have poison arrow 23 hits 4.4 million um so yes let's uh go back to the game and wrap up the video so in conclusion um, I have show you the new artifact uh, you tell me in the comment section what you think I personally don't think it's worth it uh, also regarding uh, the swashbuckler you can buy it really cheap really really cheap yes it's on a green level however it is I think it's 50 I saw for 50 AD that you can buy, buy a swashbuckler and with his stats and powers with devastating impact it will charge and grant combat advantage on the target which i find very very useful regarding the rust monster not i'm not really impressed uh and i wouldn't really use it in all honesty i would just use uh something else so if you can't afford a black death scorpion uh which is uh, my <laughs> personal favorite uh the swashbuckler will provide that combat advantage and uh that's i think that's very important so 
Thank you for watching. Uh, this was Northside. If you have any questions, make sure to comment. Ask me in the comment section. Northside is out.